Today I'm going to make an easy recipe for bourbon chicken. Basically, this is something you would normally get at any American mall food court. It's very easy to make and it is a delicious chicken stir fry. So for the bourbon chicken, I'm going to be using a little over a pound of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I've already started to cube it or cut it into small chunks. Um, you could use chicken breast for this. And by the way, shout out to my sister. Take a look at this. I don't know if you guys can see the knife. It's engra It's kind of messy because I started cutting with it, but it's engraved with Gochujang Mama. For those of you that have followed me for a while, you know my channel name was Gochujang Mama for a long time. I changed it last year just to make it easier for people to find me, honestly. But I actually, that was something my husband came up with. And my sister had these knives uh, engraved two years ago and about three months ago she sent them <laughs> so so I'm using them here on my channel I love you sister thank you so much Moni that was sweet of you and I'm still gonna rock my gochujang mama knives on my channel okay so here I have all of my chicken so now I'm going to basically season it I'm going to be using a half teaspoon of garlic powder, a half teaspoon of onion powder, a quarter teaspoon of Chinese five spice, and a quarter teaspoon of white pepper. You could also use fresh garlic in this um, and maybe a little bit of minced onion. That also works if that's what you have. Um, I'm going to add some fresh garlic and ginger to the sauce. But again, there's a lot of things you could use in your own kitchen to flavor, you know, this. So I'm going to sprinkle that on. Now I'm also going to add, this is two teaspoons of low sodium soy sauce and one tablespoon of bourbon. Um, if you don't want to use bourbon, then exclude it. Uh, you could maybe use a little bit of cooking wine in place of it. Um, or if you just don't want to use alcohol in this, maybe just a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. But I am also going to be using apple cider vinegar in the sauce, so you'll have to just, you know, play around with ratios of things if you're finding substitutions. Okay, so this is all mixed. I don't even know why I had my, my chopsticks there. That's what I was going to use to mix it, but I just went in with my clean hands. I'm going to let this marinate. I'll cover it with some cling wrap and just put it in the refrigerator and let it marinate for about at least 20 minutes. You could probably do this for an hour. So while my chicken is marinating, I want to go over what I'm going to use for the sauce today. And actually this kind of varies depending on what I have. So for example, here I have a half cup of low sodium chicken broth. I'm also going to use three tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce. I'm also going to add three packed tablespoons of brown sugar. This is light brown sugar. I also have here two teaspoons of garlic paste and one teaspoon of ginger paste that ratio can change let's say you don't like a lot of ginger maybe half that um, you could also use fresh ginger and fresh garlic just finely mince it here i also have two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar one heaping teaspoon of gochujang this is a korean red pepper paste and i like to use it anywhere i can hence gochujang mama if you do not have korean red pepper paste at home Add one tablespoon of ketchup and some crushed red pepper flakes in place of that. Now, it will change the flavor slightly because ketchup and gochujang are not interchangeable flavor-wise, but that's just something I like to add when I want to add spice um, and a condiment. I like to use gochujang where I can. And I will put all this in the description below. So this is what I'm using for the sauce today, and I will be using one heaping tablespoon of cornstarch and probably three tablespoons of cold water. Give it a mix and that's gonna be my cornstarch slurry to tighten up that sauce. So let's start cooking. Okay, I got my, I have my uh, pan. This is kind of like a wok. And for those of you that always ask where I get my stuff, a lot of the stuff I get it at stores and I can't find links online. This actually was made in Turkey. And it's just granite stone, uh, it's like a wok, a saute pan. Um, and it did not come with a lid, it just came just like that. I saw it, I, th I thought, cool, I like this, and I bought it. <laughs> so um, anyways, I'm gonna add some oil to my pan. 
and I have this on a medium high heat, fairly high, I've had it preheating. Now I'm just going to add my marinated chicken. I went ahead and turned it to high heat setting. You want to make sure you get, you know, you keep the, the temperature at least to medium high heat to cook the chicken. I'm going to brown and saute this until the chicken is cooked. Okay, so this is definitely sauteed and cooked long enough. It smells fantastic, by the way. Okay, so here is my cooked chicken. I have my pan, again, it's on a medium high heat. Gonna add a little more oil to it, maybe a, just a tablespoon, tablespoon or so. Now I'm gonna go in with the whites of two scallions. And my garlic and ginger paste. Now I'm going to go in with my half cup of broth. Just like that. My brown sugar. My three tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce. Now my two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. My gochujang, that's about a heaping teaspoon. I'm going to bring this to a simmer. Okay, so this is pretty much at a rapid simmer. And I've had it like this for about a minute. So now I am going to add my cornstarch slurry. And I did have one heaping tablespoon of cornstarch and three tablespoons of cold water. And as you can see, it completely thickened. So I'm going to put this heat on low. Now I'm going to add my chicken. The chicken is, is cooked through. So I'm just going to, I have this on a very low heat and I'm just going to toss in the chicken with that thick glazed sauce. And this is it, guys. Uh, in my opinion, it is a quick stir fry, one pan meal, so to speak. I'm just gonna put this over some steamed rice. And I'm also gonna garnish with the greens of the spring onion or the, the scallions, and that's it. That is it, it smells fabulous. There we go. And this is great for two to three people. You want to double it, it makes a great meal for four. Okay, so I have my rice, and this is just steamed rice, and then I just serve this right on top, just like that. And this is basically an easy recipe for bourbon chicken. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.